What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Alright, so let's take a look. Uh, this is not my free to play account. I'm just take a look really quick. See if there's anything good in the market. No, there's not. Alright, so. Okay, free to play account. Pretty much, this is day 8. I actually have to re-record. Um, I had to re-record this video because I forgot to hit record. Anyway, so just so you guys have an idea, right now, Classic Arena, I am on Bronze 4. I was actually on Silver 1, but because the champions I have at the moment, very used to drop uh, in my defense team, what I really have, they're not bad, but they're not equipped to actually be able to hold on to people that actually spend money in the game. But as long as keep to four, it's not too bad. All right, so let's take a look. Um, when you look at dungeons, so I still have those open because I didn't finish a complete week, uh, complete seven days as per the game. So I will be trying to complete a couple of missions. Now, one thing you guys need to know is that there's a new future event coming up on August 3rd. So I will be very stingy with my resources. I will be using what I have for the day and try and save everything else. Campaigns, I already completed. I'm actually on Bruto right now. I haven't started. I completed hard. Did not restart everything, as you guys can see. Most of it. But I still have some to go. Not going to worry about that right now. When I have more level 50s, then I may worry about it. And normal, it restarted everything. Got all my goodies. Now, one of the things is when you get to a certain point, uh, if you're doing auto fighting, you're going to realize that you're losing. You're getting just one star. So what you have to do in those points, and I finished with uh, level 40 uh, champions. So... What you're gonna have to start doing is pretty much like take off the auto fight and pick and choose the abilities you're gonna be using and should be able to finish. Uh, if you guys get get to that point, that's just fine, it's perfect, okay? So normal, three star everything. Um, I have 730 gems and basically that's because Come on. All right. So the reason why I have 730, I should have 810 right now is because Ancient Charts, uh, it's open for me, a uh, chance to get an Ancient Chart in the market. So I did spend 80 to be able to open. All right. So not a big deal. Uh, sometimes It's worth it if you're going to spend 80. I wouldn't spend 120 to open and get one of those charts. Uh, but yeah, so now I have three and that's the reason. Uh, so like I said, the next fusion, you're gonna need, need those charts to be able to get the fusion champions. So hold on to them until the third, until you know more what's going on and how it's gonna work in the event. All right, so missions right now. So missions, I already completed part one, and I'm already working on part two. So today, I should be able to win the 25 Lesser Spirits. I already have this one, so I get 10 more uh, gems. This one should be a piece of cake. This one, gonna take a little while, but uh, maybe a day or two, because right now, I know I can get up to silver one, but then you only get one medal per fight. I can do in one if I don't stop playing the game all day, but I'm also in film school. And then keep working on that. And that's gonna help me later on in the most for the following week to get a couple of uh, energies, all right? So, right now, this work now challenges how really got on champion challenge uh part four or five almost completing 
I just need to get more level 50s to complete this. Artifacts. This, it just takes so long and so much energy. And I really don't feel like completing right now. And almost because they put it to clear, all normal, and I'm already past normal. So, whenever I get to that, I get to that. It's not a big deal. Uh, dungeons. Deuce are on hold because I need specialized champions to be able to, to complete those. I need one that does block the buffs. Real reduction. What I do have, uh, steel shield buff, stuff like this. Arena, already on part 3 of 3, because pretty much now is I have to be on gold, and that's going to take a minute. Okay, Great Hall. Alright, Great Hall, I already have level 1 accuracy on those. I already have, and this was necessary for one of the missions to get one of each of those. I think, let's see, can I upgrade? No, I can't upgrade yet. So yeah, but that's not bad. Uh, like I said, go right to left. Sure, some missions going to require you to put a couple on attack. Not a big deal. And just so you guys see, login awards right there. Day 8, I just clicked on. Like I said, I thought I was recording. I wasn't. Referral program, nothing going on in here. So I do have them on the com uh, not the comments, but on the description I do have my referral link if you guys want to join. Call of Arbiter, I already got everything. So pretty much, new player rewards. Ooh, I like it. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, where I am the game right now, level 33. Now the only thing we need to take a look is on the new champion. So the new champion, Amic Trunkheart. So let's let's go straight down to what matters in here. Entanglement, right? Now entanglement, you it's pretty much active all the time, right? When attacked while under a shield buff has 50% chance of increasing the cooldown of a random skill on the attacker by two turns. Occurs once per, per attack. Whenever an ally, an ally's HP drops below 20%, increase the damage dealt by that ally by 20%. Then Trunk Heart Sanctuary. Place a killable buff on all allies for two turns. Two turns, major. I'll place a taunt buff and a shield buff on this champion for two turns. The value of the shield is equal to 30% of the champion's max SP. Now, imagine, this is jo jumping on entanglement. And that's a 6, six turn cooldown, so it should drop to 2, not 4. Vinehard, four, uh, 4 turns cooldown, plus if you book, you get a one, more, uh, one less cooldown, so 3. Attacks all enemies. Place a shield buff in all allies equal to 30% of this champion's max HP for two turns. Decrease the cooldown of all allies' skills except this champion by one turn. So, in the most if you have another champion that can place shields or that can actually decrease cooldown, you're pretty much going to be nuking your enemies nonstop. Or just have an unkillable going on no stop. So that's a way to build an unkillable team right there. Earthroot Tendril attacks one enemy. Increase the value of all shield buffs on this champion by 25%. Also increase the value of any shield buffs on an ally with the lowest HP by 25%. So he's keeping everybody alive. Plus it's an HP champion. And it's going to have a lot of HP. So the shield buff is going to be major. And that's just me. So that's why I'm telling you guys, if you can, save your resource as much as you can. Like, I actually used all my energy potions uh, that I had got from the Call of Arbiter. So, too bad. But I'll still know if I'm going to need them for this. So anyway, guys, uh, just want to give you guys the news. Just get, uh, want you guys to know where I am right now in the game. If you want, let me know where you are in the game right now. What point... 
uh, how many days have been playing. Uh, leave in the comments below. Uh, it's great. I'll definitely be talking to you guys. Uh, I hope you guys have a good night. And I'll see you in the game.